Good day and welcome back to the Super Data Science ch uh, YouTube channel. Uh, well, and welcome to the series on custom ma maps and polygons in Tableau. We have put together this series to help you create spec mapular. Yes, see what I did there? Spectacular maps or spec mapular as I like to refer to it, maps in Tableau. So we'll be learning around about a little bit more about polygons as well as a few tricks and tips on the maps. Do stay tuned. There is in every one of these videos something special to be learned. Let's have a look at what the series is going to look like. We will start off by looking at um, ba some basic geometry once again. We'll look at polygons, what they are, and how do we use them in Tableau, and what can we actually make of them in Tableau. So, very powerful by the way. Next, in the next video, we will also look at spatial files and how we work with them in Tableau and using some custom shape files to create some insights on a real life example. And then lastly, we'll also be looking at some custom map, back, map backgrounds to take your visualization that extra step further and make it look really good for your audience. All right, well, let's, without further ado, let's jump into polygons and what are polygons. So a polygon by definition, and this was taken from Wikipedia, is basically a plane figure that is bounded by a finite chain of straight line segments, closing in a loop to form a closed polygonal chain or circuit. Now, that's a lot of words and a lot of um, uh, perhaps confusion, but let's look at it uh, in a much easier way. As we like to say here at Super Data Science, we like to make the complex, complex simple, and um, let's go and do that. So, as an example, do you remember as a kid, and you might have done this as a kid, you might not have, but there's a little game that we used to do as kids, it's connect the dots. So you'd, you'd get a coloring book or a book that's printed with different dots on it and different numbers. And you would basically just follow the numbers. You would take a pen or a pencil, whatever you had close by, and draw lines between each of the numbers. And once you get to the last number, a magical shape or a magical shape or image would appear from these dots. Now this was a lot of fun as kids and um, yeah, it kept us busy for hours. But what does this actually have to do then with Tableau? Now, this is basically what a polygon is, and obviously uh, the more dots, the more uh, of a complicated polygon. But in essence, it gives you the idea of a polygon. Now let's have a look at it in Tableau. So if we go into Tableau and we have a look at a grid, for instance, we'll start off with the grid over here. You can ignore any of the dimensions, we'll go through that soon enough. But we just have a grid with an X and Y, and I'll actually just swap them around. An X and Y, where the X is at the bottom, and then um, the Y running on the left-hand side. So um, to plot any point within our sheet over here, we would need to an X and Y coordinate. So to basically make a point there, our co coordinate would be X would be 4, minus 4, apologies, and our Y would be 4. So as we have mentioned before, um, to draw a polygon, you have to have multiple dots. So we would require, um, firstly, X and Y coordinates for our polygon or our shape that we want to draw. And secondly, we need to tell it the um, order that it needs to be run in. Okay, so we'll come back to the grid. Let's have a look at the data that we're working with. And this data will be available also in the link below. So just have a look. Let's just see, this is our first rectangle. This is our um, Excel file, by the way, it's got two tabs, a rectangle and all shapes, we'll go into the all shapes soon. But for the rectangle, we define an X value and a Y value, together that would be the coordinate for your grid, and then also a path order. And this is how we've mentioned is, as um, with the connect the dots game, we need to be able to know how to connect each of them with the line. So. If once we've imported this, and I've already done the import in the data source, it's a real straightforward Excel um, join in there. And looking at the rectangle, um, yeah, rectangle shape, you can see that we've got the category, and you'll recall the category is literally just saying what kind of shape it is. That could be an ID, it could be anything that uniquely identifies this. We've got the path order in the X and Y position. So onto the rectangle. Now, if we put the uh, X value into columns and the Y value into rows, you can see immediately it um, puts a graph together. Now, 
this is not exactly what we were looking for or expecting, but um, there's a few things you need to be sure of as well. Firstly, that you've selected the polygon. And secondly, that in your um, analysis tab, that you don't aggregate the measures. All right, so it will draw it like that. And what I also want to do in this example, um, I'm just going to fix my axes um, to five and minus five for both, because we'll obviously be drawing it also on, um, uh, well, drawing some more shapes on here as well. So let's just take minus five and five. That's how I've coded my coordinates on there. All right, so that's our rectangle, but something's not right. Now, you remember we had the, um, the points. You can see the X and Y points for each of them. But Tableau does not know, um, seeing as we haven't included the path order, Tableau does not know which to connect. So it just assumes that it has to connect um, them in this order. We can obviously tell Tableau and force it, and you'll see that we've got the path order in there, one to four, and that you just drag onto the path shelf. That immediately puts it together quite nicely. And um, yeah, it's ready for, for, your, um, yeah, for your audience. Um, yeah, not very exciting, it's a rectangle. But let's see if we add on some more shapes. So uh, we can literally just take the X to columns, as I mentioned, the Y to rows, um, and uh, my apologies, we're not using the rectangle, we're using all shapes. So same story, we put the X into columns, we take the Y into rows, and a big mess appears. Now, this is firstly due to the fact, um, oh, let's just check quickly, we've got polygon selected, that's right, and we don't have aggregating measures. The first thing is that um, we haven't specified the different shapes yet, because um, you'll see the all shapes data that we're working with has got three shapes, a rectangle, a triangle, and a pentagon with X and Y coordinates, and every time with the path order starting over. So Tableau can just basically see these X and Y points, so it's just assuming it has to draw it in some manner. Now, the first thing we could do is to, from the category side, put that into color and we have different, we can see it's already splitting it up now into different shapes or at least different categories or points. Now again, this isn't right, this is supposed to be a rectangle. That's a triangle because um, there's not many different ways to draw a triangle, but what is this shape supposed to be? So then we can just again tell Tableau, take the path order and put it into path, mapping out how it should actually be drawing the lines. And this now actually does look, or does resemble a polygon, uh, a tri sorry, a pentagon. Uh, maybe not the prettiest, but at least it's over there. All right, so you can see how it, easy, how it is easy to draw shapes, although these are quite basic, onto your tableau. So you might ask, why are we even uh, touching polygons and why does it make a difference? So this forms the basis of a couple of very nice custom charts as well at the same time and is the supporting structure underneath for uh, shape files and spatial files to draw maps, which we will get to in the next couple of videos. But for now, you can have a look and we'll put the link in the video below at two of the examples that we actually have on YouTube available. Firstly, the sunburst example, and secondly, the radial pie gauge. Now, both of these rely on polygon shapes to be able to draw, to draw these, um, these shapes and um, yeah, it's, a, it's not as straightforward as you can imagine as we had done now. There's a bit more of math and, um, and so forth, uh, geometry going into this. But at least it gives you a good idea of what is possible by using um, polygons and how you can draw it. So do have a look at those two examples. They are excellent. Furthermore, um, what we also want to show you is um, we came across a very nice tool called the Drawing Tool um, for Tableau which has been created by the guys at Interworks. So a big shout out to the guys at Interworks. And this is quite a neat tool if you do not have specific shape files ready for maps, for instance, or you want something specific depicted and you, you unable to create the data yourself as we have in Excel, for instance. Now you can imagine that get, this gets very complicated, especially with working with maps. So they've created this tool, which I think is really nifty. And once you've done a quick registration at the bottom, you can go in and work in the tool itself. It gives you two options, um, whether you can work with an image, so you can upload an image and plot out specific shapes, or yeah, think of a company logo, for instance, there, by the way, or you could use the maps available within the tool. So if we zoom in a little bit and we want to design a custom area. Now, firstly, there's a couple, there's a different options at the bottom, at the top here. You can draw some points, or you can actually draw some shapes. Now. 
let's say we want to draw some shapes. So if we want to map out, for instance, this park or this primrose hill park over here, we can just follow the lines and you can make this as complex as you want. Um, obviously it will be a bit more uh, yeah, ziggy zag if, um, if you do it like this, but you are able to get at least the, uh, the line out or the, yeah, the area that needs to be incorporated. And we can do the same with another park. So you don't have to um, stop now, but you can just continue with a couple of parks. And this will overlay properly on your uh, tableau map uh, well, in the map itself. Um, on top of Lond the London map when we put this into Tableau. So I'm just taking these three. Um, we, you can see what happens at, on the side here. It actually creates a CSV or a table, whichever you prefer. I'm just going to say CSV and copy that. Now, you can obviously put this into an actual file and upload that into Tableau, for instance. What I'm going to do is take a bit of a shortcut and just opening Tableau and starting off a new sheet. I'm literally just going to control V and paste this into the sheet. You'll see it creates a new uh, data source there called clipboard. Now, again, this is not the best practice, but this is a quick way to show you. And you can actually incorporate this into your own files. So if we move this out of the way, let's do that quickly. And just clear the view once again. Now that we've got the data source there is we can uh, just include the latitude and longitude. And we will just want to make sure that we don't aggregate the measures over there. And you can see immediately it starts drawing out the shape that we have this uh, that we have yeah, done or we have selected in the in the tool. Now this is London, so if you don't believe me, this is the actual map. Um, as you can see, there goes the, the Thames River. And um, we'll just zoom in once again. But remember, as we had with the the normal shapes, we firstly need to distinguish between the different shapes and then obviously the different um, yeah, path as well. Firstly, we're going to be drawing a polygon. And as you can see, the familiar mess that comes up and that tells us we need to do two things. So firstly, we need to put the shape ID into color, for instance, we want to break it up per color. And secondly, we'll include the actual point or the path order into path. And as you can see, there are our maps just as we had them in the tool um, online. All right, well, that was our first video. I hope you learned a bit about polygons. In the next video, we will be building a bit more on um, how to use polygons in maps and what spatial files are and shape files are. So do follow the next video. You will not be disappointed. See you in the next one.